Hello, this is Vince, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service office in Grand Forks, with a weather briefing on the storm system moving through the area today into early Friday. Let's start off with the track of this clipper system. By sunrise this morning, the low is expected to be just east of the Fargo-Moorhead area. It is expected to track into east central Minnesota by 7 o'clock tonight. This track is a little further south than it appeared yesterday. Before we go any further, here is a snapshot of the expected weather at 7 or 8 o'clock this morning, the bus stop weather. You should see the coldest temperatures over northern Towner County, North Dakota, just north of Kandu. There may be a little light rain from Grafton to the Lake of the Woods region, and some light snow starting to fall along the Canadian border north of Kandu. Gusty winds will already have spread into eastern North Dakota, but not yet into Minnesota. Here are the current wind-related headlines. Like thought yesterday, the main wind impacts will be over eastern North Dakota and the Red River Valley region, where a high wind warning has been issued for today into the early evening. Wind gusts to 60 miles per hour are possible over this area, which will have the most impact on high-profile vehicles on east-west roads. Damage to trees and power lines is possible. Here are our most likely snow amounts. This map has not changed too much from yesterday, except around the Lake of the Woods region, where more snow is expected now. Much less snow is expected along and west of the Red River. These are the current winter weather headlines. Where the most snow is expected, around the Lake of the Woods region, a winter, winter storm warning has been issued for today and tonight. Bordering this warning to the west and south, a winter weather advisory has been issued. When will winter conditions start to spread in? Sometime around sunrise in the far northern valley, mid to late morning from Grand Forks to Baudette, and by afternoon across west central Minnesota. So why no blizzard warnings? This was a definitely a very challenging forecast. Blizzard warnings are our highest impact winter weather product and generally shut things down. We are not anticipating that. The trace to one to two inch snowfall amounts will fall during daylight hours and will not be steady enough to accumulate and cause issues to roads. Blowing snow is not likely, but rather wind-driven light snow. So that is mainly our rationale for this event. The impacts to the northern valley are shown here. Remember that strong winds will be the main issue. Impacts from winter weather will be greatest around the Lake of the Woods region, especially by tonight. Impacts from Thief River Falls to Wadena will also be greater than for the Northern Valley, but again, especially tonight. Improving conditions can be expected through the day on Friday. Thanks again and have a safe day.